morning, y'all. Today we're in downtown Seattle at the Seattle Aquarium. What a cool old place down here. Lots of old buildings and I gotta give it to Seattle. The the traffic, yeah, was bad, but not nearly as bad as Vancouver. They had these um so merging on the highways, they would have lights and control the lanes merging. It's really cool. I don't know, it flowed fine. There was at one one point there was like sixteen lanes of traffic and Sorry, there's buses pulling up. Um, yeah, so 60 lanes of traffic and it just flowed. Like the, I think the slowest we went was 40 and it just guided right in from Linwood. So if you guys are coming to Seattle, stay in Linwood. Honestly, it's pretty easy coming in. So we're at the aquarium and then right next door is the fisherman's market. So our main goal today is to do the aquarium, but we don't know how long it's gonna be. So, so cool. So let's get on with this adventure. DJ, can you please roll that intro? Hey everybody, my name is Andrew Adley. After a workplace accident, I was left as a bump knee amputee. I had a decision to make. Get busy living or get busy dying. Obviously, you only have one life, so I made a decision to get busy living, exploring every opportunity that is presented to me. Tune in every week for different adventures, both from accessibility standpoint to adventures with my family and friends. And every adventure begins with one leg at a time. So this is entering the aquarium. You can see right next door is the Pikes Market. Now, once again, we have that passes, which I'm gonna put a link to down below, which is definitely worth it. It's, I think it saves 35 to 40% on your passes if you're going to three destinations in Seattle. There's the there's the Ferris wheel, sorry, and then the inlet hardware. So let's go into the aquarium. So lots of people getting in. There's two separate buildings here to get in, so um, I'm going to go over here. So just looking at the website, the price to get in for an adult is $41 US. A youth is 25 and then children under three is free. Now that Seattle pass really makes sense because you save about 48% if you do three attractions. So an event like this, you'd save a little bit. You'll see a pile of seniors in the videos. Three buses just showed up full of seniors from the cruise ship that's nearby. So that's why there's so many seniors. I guess they get it on a pass also so they can go to a couple attractions when they come to port. So it's kind of nice to see it well attended. So I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's a diver in the aquarium that everybody's going crazy for. Very large aquarium. I'm going to say it's probably 20 feet tall, if not more. That's the diver, it's in there. Lots and lots of people. That's his umbilical cord up there. So this thing actually simulates the sea. So if you wait on, you'll see, you'll see the tidal come in, or the wave, sorry. These guys are just holding on for dear life. Two little baby guys in the back. Pretty cool. This particular tank's probably 40 feet long at least. I find jellyfish so fascinating. They're just so light and just float around, but they're so delicate. So cool to watch them.
Those are called strawberry anonias. Kind of cool. They look like strawberries underwater. So ever since Outdoor Boys, we've been thinking about puffer fish. Way, way, but way back in the back, there's this giant puffer fish. He's an old dog, though. Pretty cool. Maybe in the comments you guys can put what kind of fish they are. Sorry, I'm not a fish expert. This guy's in love with Kenzie. She's mine. Mine, George. Sorry. Hey there guys, so mid tour update of building number one. It's lots of people in here, it's tight, it's hard getting around with a wheelchair, but lots of real lots of really cool fish. Sorry to do these tour things, but you know, like for us, we were looking at Golden Seattle and we didn't we couldn't find information, so we just wanted some real life whether I could take a wheelchair or not. So so far these events have been really, really good. So we'll continue on with the tour. So this is the outdoor area where the otters are kept. You see the Seattle skyline and all the people here. It's pretty cool. Seagulls are just loving it. And there's the skyline. You can imagine it smells like sea down here. Let's continue on with the tour. There's two buildings, so this is part of the in between maybe? My name is Cindy. Well, let's get started. Who do we have here? We have three male harbor seals here at the Seattle Aquarium. Their names are Casey, Hogan, and Barney. Hogan is going to be our youngest child. He's the one with the much darker pelt. His head kind of looks like a bowling ball when he's swimming at the top of the water. He has a much more darker variation of that um, gray and black coat um, for our harbor seals. He came to us from um, Point to Pot, sorry, Seaside Aquarium. Um, he is about 10 years old. He's our youngest harbor seal. And then we have Casey, who just swam by us, said a little bit of a hello. He is our middle child. He is about 11 years old, and he came to us from Seaside um, Aquarium in Oregon. Has anyone been to Seaside Aquarium in Oregon? He might be a familiar face to you then. Um, Casey came to us a couple years ago to be a companion for our other harbor seals here at the aquarium. And then we have Barney. I haven't, I saw Barney earlier. I haven't seen him pop his head up since. He is our oldest resident here at the Seattle Aquarium. Does anyone want to take a guess at how old Barney is without looking at the cheat sheet? I don't hear any guesses. 25, 10, 20, 22. Barney is gonna actually, he has a birthday coming up in a couple weeks, guys. He's going to be turning 39. Oh, Barney was born here at the Seattle Aquarium in 1985. He has been here for his whole life, which is really just a testament to the really, really great health care that we provide for our animals here at the Seattle Aquarium. So Barney, if he does pop his head up, you'll He's a little, he's identifiable. He kind of, him and Casey look very similar, but Casey has a rusty patch on his chest. I actually think Barney's gonna be, Barney, everyone say hello Barney. <laughs> Barney pops like, popping up in the back, you can see. In his old age, he has developed some cataracts. So he looks, that's the one way that we identify him. Is that he's, he looks a little, he looks his age. He's getting up there. Hybrid seals only live to be about 20 to 25 years old, so he's really, really doubling that lifespan. Um, so he's kind of just a hello to you all. Yeah. So you guys saw that presentation. 39 years that Harbor Seal ages. So yeah, I guess his name is Barney and he was born here in 1982. And it's just about to have his next birthday, so he'll be 40. They're saying that they can hold their breath up to up to 30 minutes, so they take their naps underwater. 
Did you know this? Uh, Seattle Aquarium regularly visits the coast of Washington State to do research on wild sea otter populations. We participate in an annual sea otter survey with multiple partners and also study foraging behaviors to better understand what sea otters are eating, how much energy they need to hunt, and then the general health of them. So I know there's different opinions about aquariums and zoos and stuff, but sometimes these, these animals have to be in here for whatever injuries. So, you know, it's not a bad thing. And for us to study it as humans isn't a bad thing. It's starting to rain a little bit now, guys. I guess these are all fish that are native to the Puget Sound where Seattle's harbor is. So this is part of that underground thing also with concrete above us, there's tanks. Well, this, not sure how it's going to show up in the dark here, but it's kind of cool. So one thing I got to say about the aquarium, if you're in a wheelchair, get used to seeing this height right here. Because all their tanks, you can't see in them, you can't touch, you can't really do much. So. A lot of you shots I'm getting for you guys is all on this selfie stick that I'm trying to raise up to get shots. I don't know, so far, and we're probably halfway through, I'd say that the Vancouver Aquariums are way better for accessibility-wise. I'm um, just to be able to see them. Getting around is fine, but just being able to see the fish, it's not the best here. I do give it to them on their buildings though. Their buildings are really cool, all old, 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 old structure and being able to go inside and outside between the two buildings is really, really cool. You can see that, look at my wife's shoulder and how big the tanks are. They do have these cutouts every so often, but not very often. Sorry. I think we can fit. Okay. <laughs> so this is going back into the otter area. Oh, can't. Good. Oh, that was a good one. Hey there guys, so that's the Seattle Aquarium. Our group, we had difference of opinion. My wife said Vancouver's better. Kenzie said this place is better. I think I'm gonna say Vancouver just because a lot of the tanks were lower and I can actually see the fish. Whereas here, a lot of the tanks were right here so I couldn't really see. So thank God I had a selfie pole, otherwise I'd never give you guys some of the shots. So I know this video isn't for everybody, you know, like these touristy things aren't for everybody, but Maybe somebody will get something out of this and appreciate it. So thank you guys so much for coming on this journey with me. Um, if you guys will consider subscribing to my channel, that would be great. If not, then I just appreciate watching it. Thanks so much, and we'll see you on the next one.